Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Now today I'm excited to bring you a new series. 5. Crusader Kings 3 mods in under 5 minutes. If you're anything like me, you may have been disappointed that you couldn't have hipsters in Crusader Kings 3. Well, fear no more. The community flavour pack has you covered and I love this mod. Adds new clothes, cloaks, necklaces and everything in between right to your fingertips. You have options while setting the game rules to allow AI controlled rulers to make use of these new items and it just adds that extra nice look at feature that sometimes can be missed with the base game clothing. Also, I know a lot of people love to roleplay as their character and this mod makes it so much more immersive, definitely recommend. Number 2. More Game Rules This mod brings so much more variety to the game if you're fed up with vanilla Crusader Kings 3. My favourite option is Shattered Realms. This allows you to have every realm start as independent counties, duchies or even kingdoms. It's all up to you. This changes the game so much, can be so much more fun, as after you play Crusader Kings for a certain amount of time you kind of know where all the kingdoms are going to be, like where all the counties are going to be from the get go and how the games usually go. This just completely changes that, It'd be random almost every time. And if you pair that with the random rulers option, that makes every ruler in the entire game completely random. It's just a great combination for just an experience you have not able to get and you wouldn't have had before in Crusader Kings 3. Another thing I like is AI aggressiveness. You can literally set it to like really high. So if you're into the walls or you want to get better, it's a really good. Have you ever wondered what the portrait would be like if it wasn't all taken in a dark room with no candles? But now you don't have to anymore. Just install Nobles Improved. It brightens up every in-game portrait, but not just that. Adds new face complexions to the game and new HD face textures to Caucasian and Mediterranean ethnicities. Also, fix an issue with the Africans player model where they had greyish orangey skin. Sorry to pause the video. I just wanted to say a massive thank you for everyone who supported me so far. I'm just starting out, so if you're enjoying this sort of content, Please subscribe, like, super helps, but anyway, let's get back into the video. Number 4. Nameplates. Now this mod I just can't believe is not in the base game. It's a simple quality of life improvement, but it's still one of my favourite. It adds a person's name, title and dynasty straight to the events pop up. Just saves a bit of time working out who is who. You know, if you've got a war going on then a pop up comes up and then you go click on them and just try and find out who it is. You can just make quick decisions knowing exactly who they are, where they're from and what titles they hold. Like I said, I really think this should be in the base game. It doesn't change gameplay, but it's one of those features you wonder how Paradox missed and I don't think I could play without it anymore. Last, but definitely not least, we have Full Screen Barbershop. Now going back to the hipster we made earlier, now you want to see him from all angles and make him do funny poses? This mod achieves just that, you're able to hide the UI to get clean looking screenshots. Also, you can pin any character in the entire game and bring them into the barbershop with any other characters. This means you can get really cool looking screenshots. And on a side note, I'd like to mention, this mod comes with natural hair colours and idle any pose. That's what allows you to get all the poses while at the barbershop. If you download this mod, be sure to download the first mod I mentioned today. The community flavour pack, they go hand in hand really well. You're able to use all the outfits while at the barbershop. So all in all, great together. So there we go, five mods in under five minutes. If you like this sort of thing, give me a thumbs up so I know to make more of them. Anyway, thank you and hopefully see you in the next one.